Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's webinar, The Connected Worker, Why Your Workforce Needs to be Connected to Your Assets. Hi, my name is Jack Graydon. I'm a principal consultant with the Viva's Asset Performance Management pre-sales team. My background is in oper operations and maintenance, where I have about 20 years of experience uh, in both the chemical and oil and gas industry. Um, today, we'll go ahead and get started. So I'd like to start out with this three scenarios you may be familiar with. The first has to do with a piece of equipment that was just repaired and ready to be tagged back in for use. Operators are diligently working with maintenance techs to remove or turn blinds, make sure bleeds are all closed, and then finally taking off locks and tags to prepare the machine for startup. The operations teams then moves forward by preparing the machine by doing things like energizing power sources, opening certain valves, turning on auxiliary pumps for things like lubrication, seal, and even cooling systems. This of course can take several hours depending on the size of the equipment being worked on. You now have to come to a point where the machine is slowly being brought online and suddenly you identify an abnormality. Quickly the machine is taken back down and operators quickly start looking around for problems. After about an hour investigation, someone notices one of the isolation points were never removed. Come to find out a blind was added later due to, due to a valve leak and never added to the isolation plan. The machine then may have to be blocked back in, power sources secured and systems locked and tagged out in order to remove the blind. Time was lost and startup was delayed. Now let's look at scenario two. Scenario two continues with the same equipment, now entering the startup phase. All locks and tags have been removed and isolation points are in their normal startup positions. Multiple operators take various roles at collaborating on startup procedures, in which each one of them have their own piece of paper or from a single document, diligently working through the steps as required. They converse with each other and the board operator over the radio to put the equipment online. Then without any notice, the machine shuts down and multiple alarms start showing on the outside alarm console. It was discovered after reviewing the procedure with the board operator that the version of the startup procedure they were using didn't match which, which caused the safety instrumented systems to shut down the machine. Again, time was lost and startup was delayed for a second time. Now let's look at scenario three. Scenario three continues with the same machine now running at capacity. Operators have finished the startup procedure and are walking around looking to see everything looks okay. Since they didn't see any leaks or hear any specific problems, they move on to their normal jobs. About 20 minutes later into the run, the seal begins to leak and the machine must be taken down for repairs. Time was lost and startup was delayed for a third time. In each of these scenarios, we are not only dealing with the loss of production, but also elevating the risk of the health and safety to the operator, the equipment, and possible environmental damage, depending on the related process. So now let's focus on scenario one, concerning a delay in startup and potential machine damage due to a missed blind. Isolation equipment is a key part of operation safety management when preparing work for maintenance and returning it to service. So I'd like to start out with a polling question first before we continue on. So have you faced any problems due to the isolation list not being executed properly as we talked about in scenario one? Basically, they forgot there was a blind in place and, you know, they weren't able, you know, they forgot to add it to the isolation plan. Any additional responses? All right. So most do say, yes, we have had issues with isolation plans not being executed properly. And we'll go ahead and share the results.
and then we'll continue on. So there are four key areas you can focus in on to create a business case for operational safety management. Firstly, operational risk. Poor operational risk management exposes a client to potential litigation, fines from environmental and other regulatory bodies, lost worker time, and increased insurance premiums. A significant number of major accident hazards, incidents, and near misses have been shown to be connected to frontline work execution. Historical industry examples include the Flixboro, Texas City, Cerveso, Piper Alpha, and Bunsfield. The second business opportunity is improvement in production efficiency. Poor work planning and scheduling means that even though technicians may carry out work in an effective manner, they lose time waiting for things like spare parts, equipment to be isolated or reinstated, specialist contractors, Collating permit packs of supporting drawings, standard operating procedures, and manuals, and even approval processes that are dependent on emails or meetings. Even a 5 or 10% improvement in wrench time delivered by improved planning and execution would deliver significant operational efficiency to most operating companies. The third area to consider in developing your business case is the reduction of downtime. Industry surveys show that average cost of downtime equates to 200, on average, $260,000 per hour. Many site incidents have been attributed to ineffective work activity management or maintenance technicians not following correct procedures. Unplanned trips, delayed shutdowns are expensive, causing loss of revenue and potential customer satisfaction issues. And in the worst case, harm to people and the environment and the loss of an operating license. Finally, let's look at compliance. Compliance continues to become more demanding. Having a system that can demonstrate that work activities have planned effectively. Appropriate risk control measures were put in place and adhered to by the staff. Verified by complete audit trails enables clients to show to regulators that they are operating their sites in a safe manner. Many legacy systems are either paper-based or utilize digitized PDFs of paper-based forms. To deliver the full benefit of digital transformation, it is essential to develop an integrated set of business processes to ensure the effective communication across the asset team and execution of multiple stakeholders to deliver a common understanding of the state and status of the asset. The level of exposure to operational risk. By delivering true digital transformation, better risk-based decisions can be made in the planning and execution of work, leading to increased production efficiency and improved operational safety outcomes. Aviva's approach to the digital transformation of frontline operational safety management has been developed in collaboration with leading players in some of the most hazardous and capital intensive industries. Combining integrated workflows and rich functionality in a modular framework has created a scalable application that can be deployed to a wide range of industry verticals. If we start in the upper left hand corner and work our way around, we can see some of the detailed functionality. Aviva OSM has a full configurable rule-driven framework to manage the life and history of various types of work permits, like safe work, hot work, and confined space entry permits. A full isolation module for developing and managing isolation plans down to each isolation point. The ability to capture lessons learned during the permitting and isolation process to enable continuous improvement. A shift handover log for communicating current workflow statuses and notifying shift reliefs of any new events. Safe job analysis that allows our customers to develop structured templates of cause and effect is issues that can be used to mitigate potential safety hazards. The ability to visualize permit work statuses using a plot drawing that can be publicized to a control room and prevent conflicting work that may cause a hazard. Lastly, the ability to develop your own risk mat matrix for making appropriate decisions on the work being permitted. 
In addition to other effects of functionality, we have the mobile app environment that streamlines execution in the field, driving both execution efficiency and better safety customers outcomes. Ensure the right task is carried out by the right person on the right equipment at the right time. Ease of use of the mobile application reduces staff training requirements and accelerates adoption, reducing cost of ownership and delivering a sustainable solution. So let's look at some of the benefits. Production efficiency is often a consequence of inadequate planning. To improve planning, we need to understand not just the one job, but all the planned and current activities, isolations, critical operation activities. In addition, the ability to activate and deactivate permits in the field give great insights and can support increased efficiency. Aviva's operational safety management solution guides supervision and staff through the identification of major accident hazard associated with con conducting frontline work through the risk assessment process, the client can ensure that the work is scheduled at the right time with the competent people. The right mitigation and control mechanisms are put in place to minimize the operational risk to a safe and practical level. Several aspects of Aviva's OSM solutions support this. Many of our clients will have suffered plant trips or issues restarting an, is an asset after a shutdown or a turnaround. Often these are related to poorly planned or executed maintenance activities. Aviva OSM solution can help avoid some of these situations by doing the right job the first time by the right people. So let's look at a customer of ours, Caverner. Caverner delivers a complete oil and gas offshore platform and onshore process plants to operators and other customers. Caverner is an expert in executing engineering, procurement and construction EPC projects. They're recognized as a world leader in delivering projects in challenging environments. OSM supports work permits for things like standard yard maintenance activities like lifts, cranes, compressors, confined space entry, and client project activities like x-ray testing or lifting of modules, rebuilds, decommissioning of older modules, and pressure testing. So now I'd like to stage uh, poll question two. So poll question two, what percentage of your isolation risk assessments and work permits are performed manually on paper? Go ahead and vote on that. Bring that in. Let me uh, see the uh, responses. They're coming in. Few more here. All right, I'll give it another 10 seconds. All right, and to share our results, we're looking at about 50 to 75% of the isolation risk assessment and work permits are performed manually on paper. All right, we'll continue further. Scenario, let's, so good, let's look at scenario two concerning a delay in startup and potential machine damage due to version control issues around a startup procedure. Digital procedures are typically well-documented step-by-step tasks to carry out safe workflow processes to complete an important task like starting a piece of industrial equipment. So paper-based procedures can bring about a slew of challenges when applied to the industrial world. The cost and inefficiency of procedure document management and governance can cost numerous man hours and can be an enormous undertaking. When paper-based forms are used on the job site, there is a greater risk of human error. Data entry mistakes and version control as we depicted in scenario two. It can also lead to the loss of misfiling of records. This causes compliance issues through decreased 
auditing capabilities and greater difficulty in troubleshooting problems, which decreases continuous improvement efforts. The lack of visibility, context, and insight into the procedure for all to collaborate on the task at hand can lead to missteps and potential safety and environmental hazards. So based on external research, you can see four out of the five top issues report can affect startup delays and the difficult and difficulty finding the proper documentation, process interruptions through inconsistent workflows as we showed in scenario two, eh and problems and equipment reliability anytime equipment is improperly operated, lessening continuous improvement efforts when data is lost or misplaced, When looking for isolation, when looking for a solution to improve the process of the connected worker in the area of documented procedures, you wanna look at three categories, the digitization of the paper-based procedures, standardization of all your standard operating procedures, and finally, the ability to carry out continuous improvement processes. Digitizing your standard operating procedures is the first step where it is important to be able to convert your existing standard operating procedures through AI technology or have an authoring tool to create standardized forms. This entails incorporating workflows that allow for collaborative work processes that can connect people with the assets and that they are interacting with. This may entail bringing in data from other sources of safety uh, pro progress through the procedure based on equipment statuses or approvals from board operators, engineers, or supervision. Once a procedure is digitized, it can then be used as a standard across all businesses units at an enterprise level at where it can then be monitored through a single platform. This leads to rich data collection, proper task selection, and improved workflow processes that will improve the integrity of a company's continuous improvement efforts. Aviva's work task has all the functionality stated in the prior slide and more. Within the solution, we have an easy to use workflow modeling environment and automation engine. This allows our customers to develop sequenced activities across people, data, and systems. We have a complete forms design tool where you can make custom configurations to the existing digital procedure template or create your own forms. The forms design tool has a numerous smart controls for various layouts and functions and supports various browsers and mobile devices. In addition to the workflow engine and the forms environment, there is a native mobile app for executing procedures in the field. A single procedure can, can, be, pleated, can be completed across multiple devices to provide the ultimate collaboration tool. This app can then be used on all three major platforms, iOS, Android and Windows 10. To speed up the digitization process and reduce cost, we have enhanced the procedure for conversion process with robotic process automation. In this process, the technology can extract the document, configure the procedure, author and save the procedure. This process can take the, an average procedure that may take up to 10 hours to convert manually down to a few minutes. So some of the benefits of using work tasks for your digital procedure management system are, it drives work efficiency by eliminating paperwork and digitizing operational work processes in standard operating procedures. It systematically orchestrates work tasks and collaboration across people and systems, both the Viva's software and third-party applications. Secures safety and compliance by enforcing consistent and compliant procedure execution and data collection. It empowers the connected and mobile worker with procedure guidance and information access. It provides visibility into the work process performance and issues for continuous and issues for continuous improvement. Allows to capture the knowledge of an aging workforce and to standardize operational best practices across the business to empower the next generation of workers. So Ascend Performance Materials 
makes high performance materials for everyday essential and new technologies. They have been loyal customers of Aviva's work task solution since 2011. Ascend has achieved some of their goals using Aviva's work task and mobile operator software. The solution has helped conquer some of their challenges by enabling configurable workflows, data collection, and general task management for plant operations, maintenance management, production tracking, and compliance applications. It is with WorkTask and mobile operator and other Aviva solutions that they are able to achieve hard cost savings around materials, maintenance, and by preventing shutdowns. So now let's move on to scenario two and three. This time I wanna look at both of these scenarios together. In both cases, the connected worker would benefit in having visibility into the process. While developing this presentation, I spoke with a friend and a former colleague that still works in the oil and gas industry around all types of equipment. I asked him what things he thought of that would help the reliability and safety of his equipment if he had a better connected workforce. One of the responses was around the startup and shutdown of a piece of equipment. He thought if each operator had specific data at their fingertips associated to their role during this process, it would improve awareness, efficiency, and safety. For this reason, I wanted to include this topic. The lack of visibility has several challenges, and if these challenges can be overcome, you can unlock critical data by accessing contextualized data from multiple sources to gain operational insight anywhere, anytime. Increase collaboration by empowering the connected worker and break down silos with a single source of the truth and customize alerts for better, faster decisions. Improve asset reliability by gaining asset performance insights and respond to anomalies earlier with artificial intelligence and powerful analytics. We can drive performance by fully understanding your operations with a digital twin that becomes a corporate and operational KPIs to discover efficiency gains. In order to gain visibility into the process to meet these challenges, you wanna look for a cloud-based solution for collecting storing, visualizing, and managing information, which can then be used to evaluate the performance and reliability of assets. It should be able to connect siloed systems, including CMMS and EMS systems, and even edge devices with IoT data and publish this data into a single platform. Aviva's Insight connects your siloed on-premise systems including system platform, mobile operator rounds, your CMMS EAM systems, and even edge devices with IoT data, along with other third-party data sources. It then publishes this data into a single platform that will allow you to build simple and complex rules to trigger work orders in your CMMS and EAM systems, automatically learns what is normal and abnormal conditions with sensors and instruments gives you the ability to navigate the entire network and understand the health of each of the assets and provide guidance to what the problems could be and even remedial actions. Allows you to define the optimal asset strategy for each of your assets and use the asset library templates to copy and paste for common equipment types and their components like pumps, compressors, motors, blowers, mem membranes, to name, to name a few. And then it also allows you to build your own dashboards with all the connected content and will recommended content based on what you think is important to you. For example, if you're a maintenance engineer and looking for booster pumps, often it will recommend data related to these types of pumps. Make better and faster decisions with complete visibility of your operations in the cloud. Aviva Insight delivers actionable information and artificial intelligence capabilities to help your teams improve asset reliability and operational performance. With lower IT cost and fast to get to started, uncover opportunities in a matter of minutes. It is the quickest and simplest way to increase your operational agility, resilience, and sustainability. Aviva Insight provides information when and where you need it, 
so you and your teams can better manage your assets and improve performance. Aviva Insight enables you to unlock critical data, increase collaboration, improve asset reliability, and drive operational performance. So in this use case, the city of Ashland, responsible for water source treatment and distribution for 21,000 residents along the Oregon-California border, have, used, have utilized Ask Aviva Insight to make data from historian and SCADA systems instantly available to field technicians. In doing so, they have seen an improvement in overall manpower efficiency through greater access for information and faster notification of alerts in a more secure and cost efficient manner. Now we'll pose polling question three. Bring up polling question three. So in polling question three, we're looking for insight can be used as a central repository for your, go ahead and submit your votes. It can either be monitoring and control data, MES data, asset data, both A and C, A and B, or all the above. Wait a couple more seconds here. All right. Any additional answers? All right. Looks like, oh, a good part of you got it correct. It's all the above. So it basically publishes all the data that you need up into the cloud uh, for access and visible. Oop. Moving on, we'll get into the final scenario, scenario three. So finally, let's look at the monitoring of disconnected data from scenario three, where we had a seal failure not long after the start startup of a piece of equipment. Keep in mind, this could have been a failure based on numerous other failure mechanisms that aren't connected to your data sources. So there are four key areas you can create a business case for the collection of disconnected data digitally. Some of them may have seemed repetitive from other challenge, you know, challenges that we have talked about before, but it takes more than one tool to complete most jobs, as most people would, would know. So first, let's look at a stranded data. Stranded data exposes a client to holes in their decision-making capabilities. It is data that is often taken on paper and placed into an Excel spreadsheet that goes unused until after the fact. The ability to connect this data to people, processes, and assets can greatly enhance the visibility, collaboration, and reaction to improve on the next three challenges. The second business opportunity is improvement in workforce performance. Field users often collect hundreds of data points in a single shift to monitor reliability and compliance of the areas they are responsible for. Much of the data gets filed away and manually updated to an Excel sheet, never to be used until an RCA is required. The inability to contribute to the reliability of the assets is often discouraging to the field user because of this. Some field users may know adjustments or repairs that can help with the set point exceedances, but much of this information is limited to the most experienced individuals. The inability to expand visibility to this data and share knowledge often leads to a disconnect amongst fellow field users and even other disciplines. The third area to consider in developing your business case is the reduction of downtime. Industry surveys show that average cost of downtime equates to about $260,000 per hour, as I've stated in previous slides. Statistics contributing to this at a more granular level are directly related to the care and operation of equipment. Based on industry studies, 82% of all components fail randomly and are often caused by neglecting the basic care of equipment. 76% of equipment failures are directly related to improper operation of equipment. Finally, the last challenge is often encountered is compliance. Where meeting the many regulation requirements by various government entities can be a burden. Strict compliance is mandatory and having a non-standard approach 
to capturing and reporting this data quickly can lead to safety, environmental incidents, as well as costly fines that can damage the reputation of a business. Now, when we think about asset performance management and maximizing the return of the capital we've invested in our production assets, it's important to understand how a company maintenance strategy fits into its overall business strategy. And probably just as important is to understand why equipment, our production assets, like our compressors, pumps, motors, seals, whatever, is actually fails in the first place. If you look at these statistics here, you'll quickly understand that machine and equipment don't just die randomly. It may look like it at first, but more often than not, what's really happening is we're actually killing our equipment. And a lot of times it's pretty slow and painful death that could have been prevented. When using a mobile device to collect data of various types, there are often activities that are completed outside of the customer's EAM solution. Many of the activities are accomplished on the operations side of the business and don't require EAM tracking outside of capturing field defects during the inspection process. Some of these activities include compliance-based activities such as safety and environmental checks for state and federal regulated reports, condition monitoring inspections where disconnected or sensory data is recorded to maintain proper operating envelopes. Routine duties where field users may need to adjust processes or equipment operations for better performance and reliability, or possibly using non-destructive testing devices to detect potential failures. The key takeaway is that all these use cases are used to increase situational awareness and can be designed with preventative measures that allow the operations to become the first line of defense in improving the reliability of equipment and, maintain, and maintaining compliance for the safety of the worker and protection of the environment. Collecting data using Aviva's mobile operator can be synergistically used with the enterprise asset management system and historians to incorporate synchronized asset lists, generate work requests, view open work requests, and send and receive historian tag data. The process starts in the mobile operator where procedures can be easily configured to incorporate assets from the EAM along with historian tag data. These procedures can be associated to attach documents or for referencing data or visual aids. Properties of the assets are also paired to the procedure for defining limits that allow for tracking exceedances, triggering messages, generating additional workflow, or even generating a work request. Once a procedure is released, it can then be scheduled to be completed by an individual, a role, or even a crew member of an associated shift schedule. Once the field user synchronizes their device with the database, they receive all the scheduled work that was assigned to them. At this point, the field user completes the work on the mobile device as they walk through the activities. Every data point captured and response given has an associated digital signature of the field user's name and timestamp. Once the procedures are completed, they are synchronized back to the database. Captured data can then be reviewed and reported on from the management center. If work requests were generated from the mobile, the information is passed to the AM where the work request is then generated. Any values associated to the historian are then transferred to the historian database. There are many improvements that can be realized when collecting data with a best practices approach. Collecting data that is associated to known failure mechanisms and applying preventative and mitigating workflows to the field user yields known reliability and personnel improvements through improved equipment uptime, reduce maintenance cost and improve workforce productivity, which has been reported by our own customer base. This along with increased data visibility and improved compliance can easily provide a return on your investment in a short amount of time. So let's take one of our customers, Pima County. Some of the challenges were that the, the management of more than 60 million gallons of sewage each day with the assets spread out over more than a 700 miles to support the region's population of more than 1 million people. 
and they also have to take immediate action when alarms sound alerting the operators to issues within the plan. Some of their solutions were leveraging in-touch HMI, historian, and mobile operator rounds, Aviva's mobile operator rounds, to improve situational awareness in countries in the county's sanitary uh, sewage system of operations. Some of the results were the capacity of the plant had doubled, resulting in a 50% increase in operational efficiency. Overall energy consumption has been reduced by 10%. Current staff levels were maintained while still achieving significant operational improvements. Institutional knowledge is captured to train future workforce and su su successfully addressing concerns of the facility's aging workforce. And sophisticated data mining capabilities resulted in the county receiving a $362,000 rebate check from the local utility. Finally, move on to our last polling question. Post that for you here. So for the last polling question, we're gonna ask, how do you currently manage your standard operating procedures, creating procedures, controlling them, being sure they are executed? The lost pollen filed method, which are paper-based forms, documents stored in the DMS system, uh, using a competitor's mobile software solution, using a homegrown mobile solution, or some other way of, of grabbing that data. Give you here a couple more minutes. All right. Good. And we'll go ahead and share those results. And it looks like a uh, majority of your are stored in a, a document management system of some type. Good. All right. So now let's summarize what we talked about. In summary, we have looked at a critical point in time of your assets life cycle called the infant mortality phase where the probability of failure is at its highest. It is at this point in time, you wanna address as many failure mechanisms as possible to reach the life cycle requirements you are expecting and need to achieve the production expectations your customers demand. It is through enabling the connected worker, you can mitigate some of the failures that can occur by having the right person with the right information at the right time. I'd like to thank you for your attendance today. If you have any further interest in learning more about any of the solutions mentioned, please contact your Wonderware Canada East account manager or use the contact information shown on the screen. And at this point, I'm gonna turn it over to Alicia and we're going to entertain any questions that you may have. Alicia. Thank you, Jack. Thanks for the presentation. If anybody has any questions, there's a Q&A button at the bottom of your screen and you can go ahead and send us your questions through the chat, uh, sorry, through the Q&A. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna share that we have one last live webisode that's happening in two weeks from today. Um, sorry, in two weeks from today, and you can uh, go ahead and register if you're interested or for any other uh, webisode that uh, happened in the past because uh, they're available on demand. So. Okay, Jack, I have a question here. Uh, in relation to work tasks, can you create customized dashboards? Uh, yes, you can. You have a, a complete uh, dashboard uh, web application that you can, uh, each person will have access to where you can develop your own dashboard information um, and it's part of the, of the functionality of the solution. Great. Um, and another one over here uh, about Insight. So Insight seems very interesting. I like the central repository for my sc scattered uh, data. And now my asset data as well. Who can I contact to get my free 45 day subscri subscription? Sorry. Uh, yes, so uh, 
you can, of course, reach out to your One Aware County East uh, account manager, or you can also log into, uh, and actually you can do even search on, you know, do a search for it for Aviva Insight, or it's on Aviva, uh, excuse me, on insight.connect.aviva.com, um, where you can try your 45 uh, day demo. Um, if you would like to have some type of demonstration, uh, personal demonstration, we can go through that first with you. Um, and then, you know, then do the try trial period with the demo as well to give you a little bit more insight into the system. So uh, please feel free to reach out to us and, and we can take you through that. It's a very easy to use and, um, and can quickly be brought up online, uh, as you'll see very quickly, uh, to monitor some of the data that you want to look at. Thanks. And oh, sorry, one last question here. Uh, does mobile operator integrate to SAP? Uh, yes, it does. We have uh, integrations, uh, work request integrations to SAP as well as other EAM solutions uh, for generating work requests from the mobile application. Um, so we're, if from that mobile app, we can, uh, we can synchronize the asset list from the, from the EAM solutions such as SAP. Uh, we can generate that work request into SAP for a notification. Uh, and then we can also view that notification from the mobile application uh, for any open work request that uh, exists on work that, to prevent duplication. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems to be uh, all the questions we have right now. Uh, if you guys think of any questions uh, after the, the presentation is over, after the webinar is over, please feel free to contact us by email or call your account executive as well. And uh, we'll be sending over a copy of the present today's presentation in an email tomorrow. So thank you, Jack, for your time and uh, for, for doing this for us. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for everyone's attendance um, and have a good day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.